Hello students, welcome to Teach You Smart. Let's continue our journey through mensuration. Today we are going to open up a new topic, volume. As we all know that two-dimensional shapes have area and perimeter, while three-dimensional shapes have surface area and volume. In the earlier session, we discussed the surface area of some 3D shapes, cubes, cuboids, and cylinder. Today we consider the term volume. What is volume? Volume is the amount of space occupied by a three-dimensional shape. When we compare the volume of a pencil to the volume of the pencil packet, we can say that the volume of a pencil packet is greater than the volume of a pencil inside it. How can we find the volume of a three-dimensional shape? When we find the area of the region, we divide the region into unit squares. Am I right? Yes, of course. Similarly, for finding the volume of a 3D shape, we need to divide it into unit cubes. We know that a cube is a three-dimensional shape having all edges of equal measurements. If the edges are one unit, then we call it as the unit cube. So we can say that the volume of a solid is measured by counting the number of unit cubes it contains. Let's see some solids. In figure one, the number of unit cubes is eight. So the volume is eight cubic units. Figure two contains nine unit cubes. That is, the volume is nine cubic units. And in figure three, the number of unit cubes is 10 and the volume is 10 cubic units. Similarly, we can find the volume of a cuboid. Let's check it. Take a cuboid with a length of four units, breadth of three units, and a height of five units. If we divided the cuboid into unit cubes, each layer of the cuboid consists of four multiplied by three such unit cubes. Here the height of each layer is one unit. But the given cuboid has a height of five units. Then the number of unit cubes is four multiplied by three multiplied by five equals 60 unit cubes. That is, the volume of the cuboid equals 60 cubic units. Look, the length is four units, breadth is three units, and height is five units. Then we get the volume as 60 cubic units. That is, four multiplied by three, multiplied by five, is the volume of the cuboid. We can say that a cuboid of length L, breadth B, and height H has its volume. V equals L multiplied by B multiplied by H. Let's see another example. Find the volume of a cuboid having a length of 7 cm, a breadth of 4 cm, and height of 5 cm. Length L equals 7 cm. Breadth B equals 4 cm. Height H equals 5 cm. Then the volume of the cuboid, V equals L multiplied by B multiplied by H. Equals 7 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 5. Equals 140 cubic centimeters. Let's have a quick recap. Today we discussed the volume of solid shapes and the volume of a cuboid. Before winding up, let's check how much you understood by doing an activity. Find the volume of the cuboid having a length of 10 cm, breadth of 5 cm, and height of 7 cm. 
That's all for now. See you all in the next class.